Everyone, welcome back to It's All Eats, Sydney's best food trucks, part one. Why do I say part one? Because there's so many food trucks. And think about it, things I've done in the past, Sydney's best chicken sh stores, Sydney's best pizza, there's so many places, everything can get part twos, part threes. So we're starting off with four of the most popular food trucks. We're here at Bon Appetit. What's this suburb called? Denham Court. Denham Court. <laughs> All right, so we're here at Bon Appetit. <laughs> Bruh. So for this episode, we're going to four of the most popular. We're starting here, behind me, Bon Appetit. What's this suburb called? Denim Court. Fucking shit suburb. You know how hard it is for me to remember these rubbish suburbs? We're sticking to that one. <laughs> we're sticking to that take. Then we're going to Hot Clucker in Auburn. We're going to Little Wiener in Lakemba. Then Mark, Mark Chi Luce in Belmore, right? This one's Italian. Because these places don't serve all the same food, I can't compare one thing to one thing. So I'm just gonna go to each one, get a whole bunch of stuff, suss it, let's cut. What's some of the most popular stuff here? So the garlic mozzarella pizza and the vodka we get to Vodka? Yeah, it doesn't taste like it, it's how you put chocolate. It has vodka in it? Yeah, yeah. but it's like, what, like you, when they cook it, it like completely alcohol. All right, it leaves, cuts so the alcohol yeah. out. All right, and give me something else. Dessert, yeah, give me a dessert. Uh, do you want got pizza? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, sweet, sweet. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank Is you it colory? Yes, Yeah, colouring. beautiful. Enjoy. Let's go. They put the names on them. What do you mean, cuz? They put the names on them. Just says garlic, all right? This was the garlic and cheese pizza. Oh, lad. This looks hectic. What else is going on? Oh, that's the dessert. All right, all right. My memory is coming back now. I don't know what they're calling these things like a pizza type of thing. That's a Biscoff one. This is the cheese and garlic. And the pasta, we're talking about cars. $44. Guys, that's all right. That's not bad. A pasta, a, a cheese pizza, and a dessert, $44. That's all right, cars. They set me up, cars. They full gave me the vodka pasta, brother. Let's cut. Oh, well. Well. We'll go do this, the review. We'll do it the old annual sway on the car bonnet. All right, we've got the vodka pasta, the garlic, cheese and garlic pizza. Let's cut. They're looking yum, cuz. Biscoff pizza dessert, brother. Let's see it. Let's suss these out. Oh, I just got a little bit of Biscoff on the side of my fing thumb and tasted it. It was yum. I'm a bit sketchy on this with vodka. The, there's no vodka taste whatsoever. It's hectic. Mad cheese on top. The pasta's nice. It's got no meat in it, cuz. I don't know, cuz. It tastes mad, but it's just cheese and sauce. Some people like that, traditional styles. That's all right, cuz. That's all right. That's all right. Let me try this cheesy garlic pizza. $12 this was. Oh, yum. Yum, 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 yum. The crust, it's like crispy, cuz. It's mad. And you like the outside of a, like a deep fried dumpling. You know the Asian dumplings, you get the fried ones? It's like that. It tastes like what you would imagine it tastes like, cheese and garlic. Yeah, it's mad, cuz. It's nice. This place is nice. How does it taste? Like a big bunny asu, cuz. Like that, mwah, like that. Hey, hey. Made it yelling now, it taste. Let's try their dessert. I guess it's the same thing as this, but what's it full of? Bro, what's that? What is that? Don't tell me that's meat, cuz. What are you talking about, cuz? Wow, wow, cuz. I have no idea what is in that. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Let's look in that. Look at this, cuz. What is that? Bro, what is this? It's nice, but I have no idea what it is, but it's nice. You know what? I like. So what I like about this place. The pasta, pasta. Recommend me a pasta. I don't know, cuz she gave me a pasta that is that is sauce and like cheese on top. I don't know, cuz what kind of pasta that is, but it's all right, cuz I like this concept. I was tempted to say that it's a bit street foody. It literally is something you buy on the side of a street. So they've put these flavors into these. What what are they? Crepes? I don't know what they are. It's like fried food. I like the concept, cuz. And it wasn't too dear, $12 for this, $12 for that. That's not too bad, cuz. It's not bad, that place, cuz. Bon appetit, it's not, it's not bad. Hey, Roomba. That's where, that's where we started, it goes all right. Now we're off the hot clucker. Is that what it's called? The hot cluck? Hot clucker. Hot clucker? 
at Auburn, Parramatta Road, Nashville chicken style. Boom, let's cut. Let's go. All right, here we are. Parramatta Road, Auburn gets what's behind me. Hey, hey, kebabs, but you'll chase. So we'll sneak past, mate. He's at the front there, right? We can't let him see us because he might come over and fucking ah, lad. But anyway, we're at Hot Clucker. Hot Clucker. It's Nashville style southern chicken, fried, hot, spicy chicken, like American style. I'm Jade. Let me say something. Please forgive me, right? I've learned a lesson from that last place. Never let someone else pick the food for me. I'm picking the food from now on, right? I'm picking the food from now on. What did they pick me? Cheese pasta, sauce pasta with vodka. What's that? I was thinking about it in the car. Then I got a pizza crepe that was just cheese. By the way, five, six minutes into the episode and I still haven't eaten a piece of meat. What's going on here? It's off. Hey, do them, do them. Cuz, this is red hot. It's right across from Hey Hey Kebabs, cuz. Do them, mate, how are you? I'm gonna ill check because I've done a bad review across the road. I hate hate kebabs. They're gonna come out and stab me. <laughs> the sand though. They're strapped and loaded. American fried chicken slaw clucker, 15 bucks. Beautiful, tender box. Yep, beautiful. Let's go. Come around here. We've got to hide. All right. We got the sando burger. We got the wing box. And we got the loaded fries. Hectic, brother. Thank you. All right, let's go, brother. Let's can't cars. What do you mean? Oh, one hour later. Here's the Sando, $15. All right, small, I like this. I like this. But that looks spicy, cars. That looks murderous. You know what? It looks hectic. Slaw on the bottom, spiced up southern style chicken, cheese, pickles, nice burger sauce. Let's cut. Oh, yum. Oh, but that's spicy as He bombed me. Is it? <laughs> One thing he's given me is like mega spice. I hope this isn't it. Let me get through the review first. Wow, cuz that's hectic. Wow, that's hectic. That is hectic. The chicken is perfect. The sauce, the pickles, that's how you do a burger, lad. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, wow. Tenders, cluck and hot. <laughs> Clucking hot tenders. These are the tenders, but oh, he put the, look, he put the super hot one in the side. Maybe I'm gonna eat it, maybe I'm not. There's no promises. These are the tenders. Fifth, uh, $15 for these tenders. There's a lot, you get a lot. I'm not gonna lie about that. The tenders are mad, bro. Wow, beautiful quality chicken, moist. Crispy, that, that batter is yum, cuz. You know what would have went mad? A dipping sauce. How did I not get a dipping sauce with that? Well, wow. $15 for those tenders, they are grouse. Both of those things are grouse right now. Here's the loaded fries. These are $18 for these loaded fries. Wow, look at this. Look at their loaded fries, cuz. Chicken, it's their chicken on top, the sauce. It's like pretty much what's on the Sando burger, all put across the top of, um, the fries. Oh, wow. Cuz I'm not gonna lie, that's gun. It tastes exactly like the Sando burger, but on top of chips. Minus the bread, put the Sando burger on a snack pack, and that's it. That shit's on a snack pack. That's hectic. This place is hectic. All right, here it is, bro. Nothing yet. I'm only having one bite, cuz. I'm not polishing this whole chicken wing. All right, I have another bite for you. The hotter the chicken wing gets, the worse it tastes. <clears throat> oh, by the way, here's the dipping sauce for the chicken wings. I found it in the spicy box. You know what? How hot was it? Compared to when I done the hottest chicken wings? Wasn't that hot? When I done the hottest chicken wings, cuz, I died. I was crying. I was running through Concord crying. This is getting hot now. Let me do the excerpt before my mouth starts burning too much and I can't talk. Hot clucker, hectic food, mad. Southern style food, those loaded fries, wow, cuz. Where are we off to now, what's the place called? Little Wiener. Little Wiener, it's a hot dog place. Canterbury Road in the Kemba, Canterbury Road. Let's go, brother, let's cut before I start crying. Come on, let's go. All 
All right, here we are. Canterbury Road, <laughs> Lakemba. Canterbury Road, Lakemba, all right? Little Wieners is behind me. Hot dog related food truck. Someone hold my keys, right? Let's go. Hello, how are ya? Hey, hey, how are ya? Can I please have the wiener roll? Yeah, chili chorizo. It's a little bit hot. Yeah, it's fine, that's fine, yeah. The wiener burger, loaded fries, please. This is what I got. A chorizo wiener roll with mozzarella special sauce, 12 bucks. The wiener beef burger, 12 bucks. Loaded fries with special sauce, $10. And wiener on a stick, cheese stick, $8. $42 for all of that. That seemed pretty cheap, cuz. That's pretty cheap. And they didn't make that cheap for me. That's the actual price. You know what I learned about going to Melbourne and going up and down that road in Brunswick? Is that the place? Was that what it's called? Brunswick? Coburg and whatever them suburbs are? Bro, they just got food places on the sides of the roads in caravans. And I, I'm glad to see that Sydney, we're slowly catching up. We are, cuz. You know, and now doing this episode, I was floating around, obviously. I do a food show. I know there's you know, like food going on the sides of the road. Let's suss it out and I think, well, we better go and do a food show there. But like, I, tonight's making me notice, I'm driving around, there's actually a lot. I reckon we're gonna get a good four, five, six of these episodes of Sydney food trucks, cuz. But I'm glad to see it, lad, you know what I mean? Hopefully the people of Sydney just start appreciating it, cuz down Melbourne, cuz, they were frothing it, they were loving it. See how this place is like empty? There's, there's a couple, like there's, there's, there's like, there's a car full of people, there's a couple of girls there. But, but in Melbourne, it was they were pumping cars, you know what I mean? Except that first bodgy kebab place we went. That place was dead, understandably. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, eh? We're talking about cars. Boom, mother. Straight across the road. Ooh. Cars, this is, I don't know, I hope this place tastes nice. That's good value, cars. 40 bucks for all of this. The wiener roll, chili chorizo. Of course, chili chorizo. She goes, it's a bit spicy, the chorizo. I go, wake up to yourself, I'm anos. By the way, the chili from the last place, that was nothing, cuz. A burn a bit, nothing compared to when I done hotter spicy wings in Sydney, nothing. Oiny roll, good old wiener roll. And the loaded fries, the test de la resistance. I still don't know what that means, by the way. Wow! Wow, Kaz, what am I starting on? All right, we'll start on the winner roll. Kaz, this is all I feed 40 bucks, Kaz. What are you talking about, Kaz? Special sauce, cheese, chorizo. Simple, is there onion on it? There is, fried onion. Mmm, meh. Let me try this chorizo, Kaz. That's not chorizo, Kaz. That's like, a spicy sausage. That's a beef sausage. Like a spicy beef sausage. Brother, this is not. I don't know, cuz. I'm making that allegation. That's not a chorizo, cuz. But anyway, what does it taste like? It's all right. It's all right. I ate too much of that. Wiener burger. Same sauce, same concept. It's the exact same stuff, but with a beef patty on a burger. I'm not going to lie, cuz. It looks. Basic as. It's all right. The bottom, the salad is dressed. The lettuce is dressed. And it's sitting on top of a sauce and pickle base. That's all right. It's okay. It tastes exactly like the other thing I just ate. You know what these places are doing? They make a flavor. They make, hey, do it, do it. They make a flavor. Not the first place, I'll give them that. But the last two places, it's like, this is the sauce we use. This is the flavor of our truck. Now let's pick six items and make them all taste like that. Do you get what I'm saying? That's what's going on. I can guarantee you that the loaded fries taste exactly like that roll and that burger. Just in a different application. Do you get what I mean? I'm correct. Although it's nice, I'm not saying it's not nice. I'm not saying that the, the, it isn't nice. I'm saying that that's what's going on. So if you go somewhere and you get, you get the Wiener Burger, just know that every single thing on the menu is going to taste like that. And so you need to decide what do you want. It's the same as the last place we went. See, I got a few things. They all tasted mad. They all tasted the same, right? There's nothing wrong with that. But 
I just want to make that clear. These are all right too. They're all right. This looks like something instinctively and spiritually I'm going to hate. I hate food like this. She said, get it, because it's what they're famous for. Me, these types of things, Pluto pup, Chico roll, cheese on a stick, hot dog on a stick with potato coming out of its ass, that type of shit, I hate it, cuz. This looks like a battered sausage with cheese, cuz. I'm not even joking. This tastes like a donut. See this? See this bread? It tastes like a donut. I don't like that stuff, but you might come and you might deep fried cheese, bro. And think it's mad? I don't think that's mad. What do I think about this place? It's not bad. It's not bad. It's all right, cuz. It's cheap. I'll give it that. The food tastes all right, but their sauce is nice. If I come here, like a one-off, and we had that, and my missus got the loaded fries, and I got the roll and had some of her fries and a, and a Coke, and we went home, I'd be happy. It would only cost 20 something bucks, really. That's cheap, true? Now we're cruising down the road, one suburb away, just down there on the right, Marcy Lou's, that's the final spot. It's a general lot food, burgers, this, that, let's cut, brother, let's cut. We're across the road, Marcy Lou's, Marchi Lau's, Mackie Lewis. It's, it's just like a burger place. Apparently the sign says, like a generalized burger store. Hello. How are you, bro? Hey, good, bro, good. Can I get a chicken burger, yeah. a truff burger, yeah. and a camel burger? Right. So then that way we got one of each, mate. Beautiful. Thank you, brother. Thank you. You Beautiful, eh? Thank you. Thank you. Marcy Lou's. Combo's 20, the, the burgers were 13. One was 13, one was 15. Oh, the camel was 17, I think. Chicken burger, truff burger, camel burger, and the chipperoos. Marcy Lou's, chipperoos. Which burger will I choose? <laughs> Let's age, brother, that's the cut down. Start off with the chicken burger. Mm. Okay, so he said they, they like uh, Canterbury kebabs, chicken burgers. I can see that. I can see it's the same chicken, but he goes, then they do a little different move to it. The bread's different. The, the chicken's the same, how they put the cheese. The sauce is different. And the whole burger is different, except for the chicken, okay? End of the story. But anyway, the, the point of the story was they got the same chicken as Canterbury Cabas, which is a good thing. Yum, that's yum. Oh, the sauce is mad. Mm. It tastes very similar to a Canterbury Kebabs chicken burger, I'm not gonna lie. You know what it tastes like? Canterbury Kebabs chicken burger with, you're gonna love me when I say this. You know Agalo's chili sauce? Agalo's. Ogalos. <laughs> Agalo's chili sauce, the chili and mayo, that chili sauce on a Canterbury Kebabs burger because Canterbury Kebabs put the master food chili. They're both nice, this is better. That's nice, the trough. It's a Wagyu beef burger with truffle sauce. I imagine it to have, ooh. Oh yeah, that's truffled out, cuz. That's legit truffle sauce. You know, truffle is weird. Me, I find truffle ingredients, everything truffle, I find that heaps weird, cuz. And sometimes it works, and most of the time it doesn't work, right? Let's see if it works this time. You know, people throw off truffle this, truffle that, oh, cuz, I don't know, cuz. But we'll see anyway. It's nice. I'm not deciding if it's bad or nice. It's nice. I just don't know how nice it is. Give me a second. No, it's nice, cuz. It's nice. If you buy a truffle burger, then you want a truffle burger. Me, I'm only buying a truffle burger because it's all eats and we gotta try everything, don't we? If I went there, I'm not gonna buy a truffle burger. But if I like truffle burgers, that's a good truffle burger. You know, I always say, less ingredients, get the ingredients right. We're falling a bit more on that spectrum. Less ingredients, you know what I mean? They're actually very similar, very basic. The meat, the sauce, the cheese, and the bun. You know what? I have never had a camel burger in my life that tastes like camel. I don't know what camel's supposed to taste like. Every single camel burger I've had, which is only like three, 
<laughs> I've all just tasted like beef burgers. In fact, I'm suspicious and I'm pretty sure they just use beef. We'll see. We'll see how camely this burger is. To be, to be fair, I don't even know if I want burgers to taste camely. Like, why would you? Barbecue sauce, salad, lettuce, onion, tomato, barbecue sauce, cheese, and camel. What's it taste like? Tastes like a beef burger, mate. It's like every other camel burger. Tastes like a beef burger. It's nice. They're nice burgers, cuz. All three of the burgers here, the burgers are, they're all the same across the board. Same bun, same size. What changes is the meat and the sauce selection. It's as simple as that. Different meat, different sauce, call it a different burger. It's a good job, all three of them are nice. None of them are bad. For once, we got normal chips. Everywhere else is loaded this and that, heart attack chips. But, taste the chips. I was gonna say, please, please don't wreck it by having old oil. You know, like stores like that, little caravans and that, you think, bro, they're gonna just, they're not gonna change the oil that often. Then you can taste the old oil. The, the oil's not old. The oil's new, fresh oil. The chips are crispy, nice. They got nice seasoned, battered ones. That's good, that place. Fuck. Bro, they're all good. All the places are good. Fucking Sydney's best food trucks. Let me just say, the winner is Sydney, cuz. The, the winner, winner is, is Sydney. Sydney, like the year 2000 Olympics. Because I'm so glad, cuz, that stuff's happening again in Sydney. There's food. People are trying to be cultured and trying to make fucking things to do. Nice food at night. You should be able to drive down the street 10, 11 o'clock at night, side of the road. There's people fry and smoke. You know how many mad food trucks we went past on the way? I drove past 20, 30 food trucks just to get to this one and the next one. There's any, heaps of episodes to go. Anyway, that's episode one of Sydney's Food Trucks. Let's go!